We have an array here. It can be iterated by for of. The reason it can work with for of is because in the array prototype, there is a property under the name of symbol.iterator. It points to the values method. As a result, iterating over an array actually means iterating over the returned value of the values method. We can see the two results are the same. The values method, as well as the keys and entries method, will return us an iterator or iterator object. The iterator object is the API that works with for of. It links the array with for of and controls the iteration result. We can also define our own iterator object in case the three methods cannot meet our demands. To define our own iterator, we first need to learn a new concept, the iteration protocol. The iteration protocol includes two parts, the iterable protocol and the iterator protocol. The iterable protocol is for objects. If an object meets the iterable protocol, then it can work with for of. The iterable protocol demands an object to have a method under the name of symbol.iterator. This method can have no argument and must return an object. This returned object is the iterator object. It controls the final iteration result and must conform to the iterator protocol. According to the iterator protocol, an iterator object must have a next method. The next method must return an object with at least two properties, done and value. The value of done is a Boolean. When it is true, it means every value of the sequence has been output. The iteration has reached an end. If its value is false, it means there is still value left in the sequence. Every time we invoke the next method, one sequence value will be output. If we want to output every sequence value, we have to invoke the next method repeatedly. Obviously, this is not desirable. This is why we handle iterable objects using for of. It will automatically output every value from the sequence. Let's just review this quickly. For of is for iterating over an iterable object. For an object to be iterable, it must meet the demands of the iteration protocol. The iteration protocol includes two parts, the iterable protocol and the iterator protocol. The iterable protocol requires the object to have a method under the name of symbol.iterator. This method cannot have any arguments and must return an object. The returned object is the iterator object. The iterator protocol specifies rules for the returned object. It requires the object to have a next method. The next method must return an object with at least two properties, value and done.